Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Vila and today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, design using Inkscape, a free software to create sharp images like Adobe Illustrator is a Victor software that you can download for free on the website. Hope you enjoy it. As I mentioned in my previous uh, newsletter, I'm going to talk about uh, Inkscape and I'm going to introduce you to the Inkscape and also I'm going to show you how to design uh, the effects of the glass effects that is being used in many of the of the softwares and web design of today is almost a is a fab this, ta uh, this time well uh, Inkscape is a software that you can download for free on the links you see on free free software in my newsletter in the high top of the on the right side and this is a vector software where you can manipulate and create your own vector images and then con um, convert it to PNGs and everything here you have a software that it is free and is fully capable to create anything that you need um, it has all the tools that you need to create effects like, like lining and shadows and make uh, the the glass effects on the on the spheres I'm gonna show you something that I create here yeah is a is an icon that I did here I made I made the design this is this was created completely an inkscape as you see I can ungroup it control U it has also the keyboard you can use the keyboard instead of going to the menu is so easy to use as you see this is all created here in in Inkscape even the shadows the reflection the, the shadow you see this reflection how it disappear it has a lot of a lot of uh, good tools I, I could say even better than Adobe Illustrator but the environment it works like it's much like um, Micromedia freehand if you remember that software or Corel Draw. As you see we have the we had the color the color palettes here in, as in Corel Draw. So if you used to Corel Draw uh, or you used to work with Corel Draw when when you work in an agency, if you work in an agency before, this software is free and you can download it. You can go to the as I say direct my links go directly to the to the page where you can download this software it's really good and uh, uh, it's very well subtle and, uh, and as I say it's even easier if you never use a software before uh, uh, graphic design software before this this is going to be easy for you to learn uh, but me because I'm used to Adobe Illustrator I have to go around and learn the tools because I'm used to the environment of Adobe Illustrator but for this month I want to show you how to use this because it's a pretty useful tool okay I'm going to create a new a new A new design. It's open in a different window. Here are the essential tools that you need. Most of, of what you need is here. Um, but let me show you. This is an icon to open uh, an existing document, to create a new document, save, print, uh, import to. Bitma or SVG image into the this document 
uh, if you use to Adobe software is placed this is the place tool this is to export and uh, cut copy um, what can I say um, this tools uh, if you're if you're creating something here and you get lost on the page you can click on this tool and take you this this make a zoom to the object this make a zoom to the design if I have uh, many designs here uh, many objects on the design here it zooms uh, to make the all the design fit on the screen or to zoom to go to the page like control zero in Adobe Illustrator or command zero in you know, Macintosh and we have also align and distribute uh, document properties and everything select this when you as you see when when you select these tools the sub menu changes all the uh, all the choices it has here this this works with this tool and many many things uh, like rotate con clockwise counter clockwise uh, flip flip vertical flip flip vertical flip horizontal move to bottom move to uh, one step behind the selection as as you see it's very it's very easy to use uh, it's very uh, user friendly when you see the icons the icons let you know exactly what what you're doing